Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for another Murder Monday. Today we're going to be checking out episode three of Murder Drones. Before we get into that though, I do want to circle back around on the last episode, most notably the opening sequence where I had a couple of questions about that and posited a couple ideas at the time, but having some time to reflect and having rewatched it as well, I'm almost 99% sure those were meant to be the present day murder drones that we were introduced to, at least I know for sure, at least, I'm pretty confident that the one we saw bump into the other maid robot was in fact in. But the other ones, like, there were some deviations or some differences in the designs. Obviously, time has passed, attire setting and all this kind of stuff. But I think the, the implication was meant to be at least three of those drones are the ones that we've bumped into and met in the present day. Which adds a lot of questions to my entire backlog of questions that we have at the moment. But I like that the kind of loops back around on the question. I think that Uzi posited at one point in the last episode is like how much of what they are programmed or what they remember is actually real or true. Their assignments, their designations or whatever, the directives. Like how can they trust their own memories if those can be altered? So I think that has to come back around. I just wanted to include that before we jump into the next episode. Again, if you're like me and you're checking this out for the first time, make sure to do it without me talking over top of it. You're doing yourself a disservice. Go check out the original video. I have a link to it down in the description below. Go give it some love and then come back over here and check out this reaction. And speaking of, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. With that all sitting out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode three, The Promenade. Here we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. Oh God, a bunch of missing ones. What in the world? <laughs> Lol, nice vision. <laughs> Getting roasted by your own eyes has got to be a mood, you know? Optical calibration, 20 out of 151. Ugh, rough. Real quick before we get into it, I want to look back at that board and see if there's any fun little details. We got four missing persons posters here, all from different dates, like once per month even, it seems like. April 1st, February, March, January. So yeah, one per month. Descriptions, we got this one here. Uh, Was that Dylan? Last seen being a bad person. So this is okay. This is a fine narrative path to take. This is a good message. I'm a hero. Please call with any info. WDF Robo Murder Hotline. I can't make out any of the, the wording on the additional info. Actually, no, this is a little clear on this one here in the center. To prevent... Any future dying or, sorry, going missing, the WDF recommends avoiding the following. Going anywhere, being curious about anything, making enemies, making friends, talking to anyone, looking at anyone, ignoring someone for too long, being unlucky, being too lucky around those less fortunate than you. Damn, this middle one though, uh, last scene confusing the ancient digital artifact collection, The Office, with a personality core. Oh, isn't that a mood? Not Office for me, but I've definitely done that with some other shows, but I know for a lot of people, The Office has kind of filled that role in recent years. I need to, I need to watch it, I guess, at some point. I've only seen like one episode ever. We got this other one here, the April 1st one. Lainey Gilmore, uh, last seen playing the best long con prank on her friends and family. What, going missing? Is that the long con? Then this bottom one, Kinsey Rivers, last seen constantly talking about her limbs and organs are so intact. God, she's insufferable. <laughs> what? All right, let's get back to it. Damn. Her glasses got hit with a glitch, too. That code popping out. Oh. Uh, it's not promising. Oh. There's that emblem again. Oh! 
Oh, oh! Wow. Is this the same one that was, yeah, it's the same one that was bugging out at the end of last episode. Taking out all of the prom queen <laughs> nominations. Wow. What are you things? Guilt active. Fair. Mm. You should feel bad. <laughs> Imagine going to prom alone. <laughs> Why was like his head on fire? Happiness. <sighs> what was going on in that classroom? <laughs> oh God, there's more. I'm not going to go through all of those. <laughs> not right now. Maybe after. Wait, hold on. But I will go back because what did that sign say? Wet murder. Wet murder? Okay. The camera is literally turned around. <laughs> She's just getting excited about making a new murder board. But her old one has been collected. What is that? What's on this door? Norris, kooky, insane stuff. Hmm. Oh, I guess I literally could have waited. <laughs> Trying to suppress all of that. Oh. Crazed ramblings. Stay out of my freaking room. Personal space for very alarming coping mechanisms isn't covered under a non-optional family support <laughs> maintenance scene oh, sorry for being your insane daughter seconds, okay? you were never there for me that is what that said right maintenance scene insane daughter unit support structure <laughs> i'm sorry for being vulnerable for five seconds okay you were never there for me if you want to help now stay distant oof i'm going to talk to n Prom dress, child small. You're grounded from seeing those bad influency murder drones. Uh, but I talked to your teacher to find you classmates to go with tonight. Uh, oh great. Sup, freak? Prepare to be popular. I'm chaperoning. <sighs> that is a nightmare. I do want to be dapper, <laughs> but no. That's why you had me find these. We can't interact with the workers anymore, V. We're too dangerous. Uh, exactly. We show up fabulous. The sad purple one lets us in because she has no friends. We kill everyone Rude. and her little head off. I'm not freeing you for prom murder, V. Jay went hollow spooky snake crap and we maybe grew up in a haunted mansion. Aren't you worried? Hey, you know yeah, there we go. We they just straight up uh, confirmed it. Promise me you and that purple thing will stop prying into that stuff. If you free me now, I promise we'll only kill what we need to survive. Just you and me, Ann. Can we, can we trust that? Can, can we? Ugh, doll, do you ever clean? You're oblivious to the posting. Russian that. doll. I see you. Um, that's not hey, suspicious. So thanks for having me, but now that my dad thinks I'm here, I'm actually gonna. You're hilarious. She's hilarious. You should get ready. You're gonna look so cute in a brave way. Oh, whoa. 
So is the one with the ears in on this as well? Or just the Russian one? V, if you're hiding something, we can figure it out together. Even if we each only have pieces, please, what do you Oh! What's best for you? Wow. If you hate me for it. God damn. Huh. <laughs> Easy, Robo Satan. Not this <laughs> now. Wow. No one will notice she's missing. Just do your thing and I'll let in V. We'll see you there. What the f Oh, do your thing and I'll let in V. They are working with them. Given the title of this, I don't know if this is supposed to be like Carrie themed or prom night. I've seen Carrie, but I've never seen any of the prom night adaptations. No, no time. Deverin. I was literally about to make a very similar comment. Wow, it's a lot of mirrors, just a bunch of fucking mirrors. No, that's Carrie. Как они по-русски любят говорить? Ой, я должна была предположить, что кто-то сможет убежать через вентиляцию, используя выброшенное зеркало как ступеньки. You know that old Russian saying. <laughs> the humor's getting better too, I will say. But I'm digging the vibes, man. It's, again, it keeps growing on me. Ben? Uzi? You Blair. look... I, I, uh, I think something bad. I could help, but you probably don't want me. No, I could use the help of you being there with me. Hmm. Damn for buddy. No, oh, she blessing. I was going to say if someone isn't the, doing the robot, someone's not doing their job. What is with the firehead guy? He's still on fire. But since the entire prom court mysteriously disappeared, your queen yeah, about that. is uh, this. Oh, we're gonna die. Wow. <laughs> Easy, Judgy Box. V's my friend. She's done with the murder or whatever. We've been hanging. Yeah. When and Best how? Friends. So easily manipulated. Prom queen? <laughs> so forgive and forget, or I'll get my dad to dock your freaking grades! And you can't sit with us, Rebecca! Uh, what? Fine, I forgive her, settle. She's quite cute though. <laughs> <laughs> What is the game here? Oh, lovely. And kill everyone after? It's not vain. It's extra sinister. 
<laughs> oh no, is she gonna get... She's gonna get carried, isn't she? Yeah. Why? What is the plan? Unhand them, you fiend! I'm confused. Me too! Oh! 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 What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god. This isn't what I expected at all. I guess we should uh, So she was luring her here for revenge. I guess. Fight me! Whoever started this wants us to fight. I'm not dealing with anything well, but I'm done dealing with everything alone. Oh. We move forward. We gotta stop this fighting. Not at all. Someone's puppeteering all this. Oh, she is badass though. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! Nice! Maybe she could counteract, uh... Oh yeah, well hold up, what was that error? It didn't work on her. I was gonna say, what if she could use her own little... Gios back at her. Error. Abs uh, absolute solver underscore train like object non-interactive cause it's the s yeah it's detecting it in her wow hmm okay oh is this Ew. <laughs> you look like garbage. You freaking traitor. As if you weren't using me to try and kill everyone, Miss Petty. Where does this freaking go? Thank you, Lizzie. Shut up, loser. Rude. So is this like something she could be able to learn how to do? Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, quit saving me. Uh, quit needing saving. Nice. God damn. Oh. Well, hot damn. Oh. Okay. 
Well, lucky for you, they can regenerate. Can normal drones? Can they fix a uh, doll? Nice. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my lord. Consume. Oh, was she eating them? What was she getting out of it then? Taste that good. V, you kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing okay. Hey, at least she admits it, I guess. Oh, she tasted some. I mean, that stuff like allows them to to heal and survive and stuff like that. So maybe she was like found that if she started to consume her own, she was able to get more powerful. Oh, well, she's alive still. Wow. Oh, yo. What? Oh, don't you So they're both trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So now she realizes what's going on. Oh, my excuse to be outside right now. Oh. Whoa! <sighs> what now? More of these things. What the fuck? Tessa. Oh, lovely. This mystery keeps mystery in. So Tess was the one that was bringing in more drones in that vision we saw in that mansion. You know, they were the, the one dude, the studio dude, James, was talking about uh, her frequent trips to the dump. Is this the dump or is that somewhere else? Because he was talking about where do you get the hair for these things or she keeps dressing them up or I guess she's just too obsessed with these drones, these robots. And she's cultivated her own little squad here. She just showed up with Jay and their own little drop pods here. Axe this one worker drone that was just kind of walking around, like you said, like, hey, look, my random ass reason for being out here or whatever. And we know that the other ones were there as well in that flashback. But how does that correlate to why their memories were reprogrammed, why they've been sent here, and now why she is even here herself? I don't know. Obviously there's something cooking up. You know, this doll saw a bunch of their own getting slaughtered and murdered or whatever, and I guess took it upon herself to fight back. But to do so, she was consuming her own? I'm a little confused on that, that 
revelation. I mean, we found out that those two, Doll and I don't remember the other one, the one with the cat ears, the popular girl, they were working with V in exchange for coming in, like they were mutually using one another. I mean, the implication I got, because my initial read until the revelation towards the end of it was that maybe they were trading their own to kind of barter some kind of peace with V to save themselves or something. So maybe they were helping traffic uh, other students up to them to kind of satiate that, but that wouldn't really line up with what we've seen. So as we learned here towards the end of it, it seems like the implication was the doll was consuming the other worker drones. So in a way she like was empowering herself because isn't that fluid the same thing the murder drones themselves consume in order to heal to kind of sustain themselves and stuff like that to keep themselves going because they have to consume the fluids of the worker drones to stay active. So was she trying to do exactly that? And is that one uh, what unlocked this um, absolute resolver in her? Or was that something that she unlocked in some other way? Because I'm not sure that we really saw how, or at least we, if we did, it's just, I'm drawing a blank on it, how Uzi got access to it. And now she's even been tempted to taste the fluids there within when they were in that room. And I think she even did. The extent of this ability, like this program that runs, gives them almost absolute access to manipulate pretty much everything around them, like with the cameras, with each other, these glitch things that just kind of manifest as if they're being manipulated by somebody else. And, you know, we see her actively doing that. And I mean, hell, I guess, to be fair, we did open this episode with her preying upon this kid just roaming the halls. So, I mean, I don't even know why it was that big of a question. I guess I forgot about that uh, by the end of it, that that was actually Doll there in the beginning, let alone the last episode. See, I thought she was going to be revealed to have been a murder drone herself, but just left in there as a plant or as like a sleeper agent that was activated by a specific chain of events or something like that. But... As we saw in this little flashback, like she witnessed her own being murdered and that prompted her into action. But she's also preying upon her own. I'm a little confused on that. I'm not even gonna pretend otherwise. I could be misreading all of this. So I would really appreciate some clarification on, on that as far as what I'm supposed to understand in this episode. It turns out she was trying to lure V down here because she wanted revenge. She wanted to kill these murder drones while also killing a bunch of her own to uh, achieve that goal. Maybe th none of those people mattered anything at all to her, but the people she did care about lost their lives because of it. That's where I'm at at the moment, and I just, I may be missing the mark completely. Obviously, as we were learning about how this is playing out, the murder drone, worker drone death cycle is a construct of their makers. This is something they're trying to work through, specifically Uzi and N. Like they're seeing that there's something going on they're not aware of, something beyond them uh, that is kind of keeping this cycle of violence going when it doesn't need to seemingly. They're trying to figure out why this is. So they step in trying to keep Doll from exacting her revenge and to stop her from taking out V, while V is also just very much so just ready for any excuse to kill any of these people. She's also kind of reluctantly-ish behaving kinda a little bit, cause I feel like she could be popping off way harder than she is, but I guess out of respect or courtesy towards N, she is seemingly kinda holding back, as well as just like the little bit of a, uh, praise that she got for being celebrated for a moment. I thought we were going to get a carry moment where they were going to dump some pig's blood or whatever on her. But no, we had a different psychic show up and crash that party. Anyway, I got sidetracked. But the revelation of Doll when she finally faced in and tried to use her powers on Uzi, who also has this program running in her, this process, it wouldn't work on her. It said, like object, non-interactable. So it can't interact with somebody else that has this thing. So it makes me wonder, is it independent of them? I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting lost into that. But we've learned that that's how she's using all these crazy ass powers that she's got. And by the end of the episode, in a act of desperation, she activates it full on. I don't think uh, Doll knew exactly the extent of it when they were fighting in the, the dance floor. But once they were back in her apartment, they found the corpse of her parents and then the corpse of a lot of other worker drones that she'd been consuming. 
And, you know, she even was able to recover from that head wound, head trauma, and start fighting yet again. But when it triggered and activated the absolute resolver in Uzi and she stopped that bullet dead in the air, she was like, oh, shit. She kind of recognized her and that they're both searching for some answers to whatever's going on. And then she ends up just piecing out. So it's like she saw a kinship in Uzi at that moment, knowing that they both have this thing. They are both trying to get answers for whatever's going on in this world that it has befallen them with this fate that they seem to be trapped in. So I'm wondering how that's going to come back around because how does she... I, I got I got a lot of questions and I don't exactly know how to ask the questions that I have in my head. So I'm just going to let things play out at the moment. But yeah, this Tessa character just showed up with Jay from this landing pod. Again, as we've learned, those are one way, supposedly. If that is the case, why would she come here, leave the confines of her mansion? Why does she collect these drones? What? I, I don't, I don't, I got, I, I got, I got so many questions. Anyway. Leave it at that. So like, uh, yeah, another, you know, the last one again, gave me very strong alien vibes. And this one, I'm going to assume some element of it's probably Echo Prom Night based on some little things that I know about it. But there was also some allusions to Carrie. Because as you guys let me know that some of these episodes do kind of tend to homage and reference different horror archetypes. Anyway, all that aside, Another solid episode. It's getting more interesting the more we get deeper into it. And the action of this episode was so much fun to watch. But that all said, I think that's kind of the end of what I have to say at the moment. So I'm going to pass it off to you guys. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to support the original video. I have a link to it down in the description below. And before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrick, Yorick, Ross, Scott, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L, Jake Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Moyer. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.